So I'm just going to grab my pen tool and just draw smooth lines. If you give it some sort of like waves to it as well or change in direction, it'll also give you a more realistic result as well instead of just drawing out like one big large image or like a circle. So you could follow along some of these like smaller details just to give it a bit more dimension. But again, I can come inside or outside of the shape. And you can choose to ignore some of the pieces of the shape. You don't have to include all of them. You could have even separated some of these if you wanted to, right? You're basically just trying to form the mold of the face first, right? So wherever you see those shapes that would represent contour or depth, those are the ones that you're going to trace out first. Okay. After you're done, then you can take a look at the illustration when it's a, you know, a bit colored in. Or after you start adding color. And then if you start to see that your face is taking shape, then you're okay. Then you can always just add little details at the end. So I'm going to draw that shape, go back to my layers, name that path highlight, and you're just going to label all of your highlights as highlight, because later on we're going to color them in, or using blend modes inside of Illustrator. So we're just going to tag each path with the word highlight. And then I'll go over the path with my smooth tool. So once you do that one, you're just going to continue drawing all the other highlight shapes.